Steve, for the first 25 minutes, uh, we were playing against a side that looked nervous, they seemed to lack confidence. Uh, they get a goal, and suddenly, gradually, it all changes, doesn't it? And, and second half, we just didn't do anything. Uh, I didn't think, personally. Uh, Jim, listen, they were told beforehand that the, the club, this club here, Chelmsford, they're looking to appoint a new manager. Um, the management team of, uh, they've got at the moment are doing the best job they can. Um, but we thought if we could start well and cause them a few problems, then, then they might be all over the place. And I thought we got the goal. And then we started doing individual things wrong that got us the goal. Um, we started making silly mistakes. Give them a lift up. Um, should have gone two up. We end up conceding a minute later. Goes one on. And then second half, they're told beforehand, don't let what Saturday happen happen again. Be compact, be solid. We make a mistake by letting a cross come in, and then the fella scores at the back post. After that, the players lost composure. I, I don't, I don't go for my players, and we back them, and I, and, I, and I still back them. But they lost composure, they lost the will, and again, it was it was a nullified thing. And then we, Johnny's gone up. Uh, and, with three minutes left and they broke away, it's a good finish from the lad from, from where he was but we lost composure Jim and we, we didn't look to pass the ball, we didn't look to do anything with it and it just gave gave them more confidence in the game because um, we were snatching at things and like I say, um, what crept in tonight that I'm not happy about is we're starting to make mistakes again, silly errors that are costing us goals like we did early part of the season and we've got to stop that. I hadn't even got to. I didn't even see the second goal. I hadn't even got to my seat. It was so quick, you know. And you're kind of thinking, what on earth's happened there? They haven't come out of the dressing room. Didn't defend properly. You know, and that's defend the throw properly. Um, we let the cross come in. Um, and again, I'll see the video. Um, we've had a chat about it in there, or more, not a chat. I've told them what I think because there's a few excuses being thrown about the minute, and I'm not having that. So. We give them the game plan and it worked to start with. We give them a lift up because we don't punish them. So I think Leroy Elite has had one chance tonight and he scored, oh. you know, oh. from a cross in the box. We've had one cross in the box and we've we missed it. Oh. So yeah. it's not, um, not good. And I don't think their keeper had a save to make second half anyway. No, he didn't. He didn't. That's because all of our players, when they went 2-1 down, started panicking. And there's still 40 odd minutes left of the game, Jim. So. If they're going to do that and not be composed and think there's still enough time to get a goal and keep lashing at things, that's, what, that's what's going to happen, you know, and you're going to give them more impetus to, to, to get on the ball and cause us problems. Uh, weren't terribly happy with the, I mean, it's fair enough, celebration after their third goal was perhaps a little bit over the top right in front of your bench, but there you go, these things happen in football. Yeah, he's a, he's a young lad, but it's a great finish from him. Mm. What it was about, I'm not too sure, but as he said afterwards, it was a bit of banter. But one of them might go, there was no sleep over it, I just oh. wondered what it was for, that was all, but it's done now, it's dusted, um, he scored a good goal, it's beat, they've beaten us and we've got to dust ourselves down and go again next uh, Saturday. Huge game on Saturday isn't it, going to Oxford City obviously, I mean they're all big games but that's one where you've got to look for points. This was huge Jim, it was a game in hand, yeah. so this was the one that we needed the points, uh, we need points Saturday, we need a lot of points and uh, if we continue to make mistakes like that, like we did start the season, I can't see us getting as many as we need, um, but I've got a lot of faith in them because that's our first defeat of the, of the new year. Uh -huh. um, first so double of the season, was first double defeat. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about doubles, I'm just worried about... The supporters do. Yeah, well, maybe, <laughs> but I'm, I'm more worried about our performance. Yeah, yeah. And our yeah. performance was nowhere near the levels we've put in um, for a full 90 minutes from the Chippenham game to now that's got us on the run. So, mm. I mean, that's, that's three defeats now in 13 games. Um, we just got to dust ourselves down and go again, you know, the fans were good tonight. Um, we want to give them a bit more to cheer about. Um, and tonight wasn't the Okay, thanks very much indeed for your time, Steve. Anyway, bad luck and uh, hope for better things on Saturday. Cheers, mate.